Hey guys, what's up, Mad Season here, and for this video, I thought it might be interesting to show you some of the more expensive items in the game and sort of explain their backstories. This won't necessarily be items just purchased from vendors since that's kind of boring and too easy. So, I'll also include items sold by players using numbers from the Undermine Journal, which is a website that tracks auction house data across all US and European servers. And I'll also list some items that you can only buy using real life money and using the US game time token as a means to convert it into a gold value which is currently around 150,000 gold for one month, so 15 bucks. Note though that making these trades is against the terms of service, so you shouldn't do them. Or you can. Hey, it's your life. So, starting with the most obvious one here, we have the spider mount. This is sold by the Mad Merchant, which is a vendor that rarely appears in the toy shop in the Broken Isles Dalaran. He sells this mount for a whopping 2 million gold, making it the most expensive vendor bot item in the game currently. Not even taking the gold into account, getting this mount is tough because the Mad Merchant has a random respawn timer, and he doesn't stay for long once he does spawn. But the mount itself is quite unique, as it should be considering the price tag. You know how Blizzard reuses models a lot? Well, this one is one of a kind, at least for now, turning the heads of people you dart across and scaring the pants off of arachnophobes. Next, we have the first of our out-of-game purchases, and that's a big blizzard bear. This is an extremely rare mount because it was a reward for people who attended the 2008 BlizzCon event. BlizzCon started in 2005, so this was pretty early on in its lifespan, and obviously it happened 9 years ago, so over time, the people who got them quit the game, and it's become more and more rare. But, a small number of people held on to the codes that give you the mount because they saw that they had some money-making potential. As of this video, these are currently going for around 1300 US dollars, which translates to 13 million gold in game using that token value of $15 equals 150,000 gold. And before you say, well, just because it's listed for that much doesn't mean it actually sells. Believe me, they do sell. In fact, this particular listing has sold 6 with just one remaining. And hopping back in game here, for the next one, I wanted to list the Swift Zulian Tiger. Now, this one is special because it's sold on the Black Market Auction House, which is an auction house that has no buyouts and the players must enter a bid war with each other. You used to get this mount from the old level 60 Zulgarub raid. The Tiger Bus there dropped it at a 1% chance, so it was a very rare mount even back then. It was special because not only was it flashy, but Horde characters could also get it, giving them access to the Nidal style racial mounts. The raid was re-released as a 5-man dungeon in the Cataclysm expansion, and the mount was removed from the loot tables. The only way you can get it now is through the black market auction house, and when it rarely pops up, rest assured that more often than not, it's going to sell for the gold cap, which is currently 9.9 .9 million. Next up, we have something that actually isn't a mount. It's not as pricey as the ones I just listed, but hey, this video would be lame if it was just all mounts. And it's interesting because it's quite possibly one of the rarest items in the game, and that's the original Thistle Tea recipe. In vanilla, rogues got a low-level quest that awarded the Thistle Tea recipe, which was a consumable that gave you some energy. It was often used at level 60, particularly in PvP, for some nice burst damage. What's special about this though is that way back in March of 2005, just 4 months after the game's release, it was changed to where this was a bind on pickup recipe. The change wasn't retroactive however, and any rogues who obtained this pattern but didn't learn it got to keep the non-soulbound version. So today, this is highly sought after by collectors and completionists looking to learn every cooking recipe. And as of this video, across every single US server, there's a grand total of two up on the auction house. Now, since it's such a small sample size, it's kind of hard to nail down a price. Currently, it's listed as an average of 3.75 million, but it really depends on two people at the end of the day. Regardless though, very expensive. Next up, we have a two-in-one. It's another tiger. This one is the Spectral Tiger, and its Swift counterpart, which are exclusive to the trading card game. There was a series of trading card games released for World of Warcraft, and some of them were special because they allowed you to get some in-game items. Mounts, pets, toys, that sort of stuff. The production of these cards have since been halted, which resulted in their value skyrocketing. The crown jewel of these items is the Swift Spectral Tiger Mount. Upon redeeming the code found on the card, you got a blue and purple version of this mount back when the rarity determined their mount speed. It's a version of the Night Elf Racial mounts, but with a ghostly skin. For these, since they're not soulbound, we can go by the in-game price, which is around 9 million for the swift, and over 7 million for the normal. 
the card, which awards both, is currently going for around 1300 bucks on eBay, which is around 13 million gold. For the next one, I'm gonna cheat a bit. It's not actually an item, but rather a character. So, it doesn't really fit in this list, but this is so over the top that I have to tell this story. Back in the Burning Crusade, there was a rogue by the name of Zuzo of the Method Guild. He was basically geared to the teeth. He had the legendary glaives off of Illidan, most of the tier 6 armor set, a very hardcore raider with a lot of gear. Probably the most geared out rogue in the European region at the time. Well, someone started whispering him, offering to buy his character. Initially Zuzo refused, but the stranger persisted, offering more and more money as the days went on. Eventually, Zuzo ran into some financial difficulty and decided to accept the stranger's offer, which was nearly 10,000 US dollars after being converted from euros. The trade went down, Zuzu got his money, and he gave his account to the buyer. The buyer renamed the rogue to Shax, and five days later, the account was banned. The problem was, glaive rogues were obviously very rare, and seeing a quote-unquote new one suddenly pop up, who at the same time was spectacularly bad at the class because they had never played it, was suspicious to say the least. And it was such a big trade, so word quickly spread, and Blizzard caught wind of it and took action since obviously account selling is against the terms of service. The buyer at some point was apparently thinking of suing both Blizzard and Suzo, but nothing ever came of it. Next, getting back in game here, we have another vendor item. This one is the Celestial Calf Pet, and you got it from the same Mad Merchant vendor I mentioned earlier. It cost 1 million gold, so not the most extreme, but still pretty expensive, especially since it's just a pet. Speaking of which, it is the subject of a small controversy for all of the pet collectors out there. There's a gotta catch them all aspect with the pets in this game, and people weren't too happy to see the 1 million price tag on this one. It does do a little starfall effect if you're idle for long enough though. That makes it worth it, right? Next up, we have another TCG item, and that's the magic rooster egg. Just like the tigers, you got this from a trading card, and due to their rarity, they're now very expensive. This one is currently going for around 7.5 million as of this video, and as far as models go, it's quite unique. It's the only one of its kind, although if you look closely, you will notice that it shares the same animations as the Blood Elf racial mounts. There was actually some controversy surrounding this one too because in Legion, they were going to make an enchanter-only version with the same skin. There was some outrage over it because some people think that the unique TCG items should stay unique. And perhaps it was because of this that this new enchanter chicken was never released, at least not yet. And for the next item, would you believe me if I told you that one of the most expensive items in the game is a level 40 green sword? Probably not, but it's true. The Chromatic Sword is a unique two-hander that used to drop off of the rare basilisk mob, Scale Belly, in the old Stranglethorn Vale Zone. In the Cataclysm expansion, this item was removed from his loot table, making it unobtainable from there on out. As for the reason why it's so expensive, well, for transmog basically. This sword is special because it has a native multicolor glow to it, which makes it quite unique and highly sought after by transmog enthusiasts. And lastly, we have quite possibly the most expensive item ever if you're counting eBay sales, and that's the crown jewel of all of the pets, Murky. Boasting the price tag of $3,500 on eBay, this was the most expensive item that I could find. Using the same conversion method, that's 35 million gold. This was the item awarded for attending BlizzCon 2005, this was the very first BlizzCon, so at that point, people didn't know that you could actually get in-game stuff for attending. So, the initial supply was very low, and with that now being 12 years ago, very few codes remain, hence the extreme price. Over time, there have been other Murloc pets released which diminished its uniqueness, but it still remains as the most expensive and valuable item to this day, at least out of everything I found. Feel free to correct me on that if I'm wrong. So, that's about it for this video. Those are 10 really expensive items in World of Warcraft. Let me know if you enjoyed this, and I may end up making a part 2 to it since there are some interesting items here that I didn't mention. I hope you found the video interesting or entertaining. Like it if you liked it, and thanks for watching. Peace.